Hello, my name is Niall Meller from Acoustic Frontiers. Acoustic Frontiers is a DEX dealer in the United States. We ship DEX products globally uh, and you can reach us on the web at www.acousticfrontiers.com. Today's video is about the control panel within the DEX. So with the DEX calibration software open, I'm going to open the uh, control panel. The way to think about the control panel is it's a good way of tweaking some of the aspects of your system without needing to change the information in the configuration. If you remember the configuration we talked about in a previous video, this is defining the, uh, the crossover filters, the slopes, the frequencies, etc. What is possible to do in the IO manager, the control panel in real time is to change some of the individual aspects of the outputs. So you, you can change the gain, and you'll see that changes the gain. You can also mute the channel, the M button mutes it. You can change the polarity, plus, minus. That's a very useful tool for doing subwoofer integration. You can change the delay. That's a good tool for finding the best delay points to use, say for main speakers when you're integrating them with a subwoofer or between different drivers in a multi-ray system. The DEX control panel also gives you some other options too. So you can see, uh, you can change the input selection here. You can swap between analog and digital inputs. You can uh, also swap between the analog volume and the digital volume. So by switching this off, this will switch off the analog volume control. You can also change the, the main master volume in the deck, on the decks in real time. It's possible to mute the volume. And it's also possible to swap between the different profiles. So in today's video, I've just quickly shown you what the DEX control panel is and some of the ways you might be able to use it to interface with your system. My name is Niall Meller from Acoustic Frontiers and you can find us on the web at www.acousticfrontiers.com.